My name is Dr. Marissa Nicole Rylander. I am the director of the Cancer Engineering and Nanotheranostics Lab at the University of Texas at Austin. So the focus of our lab is trying to better understand the evolving nature of cancer, both how it grows, how it responds to therapeutics. And from that standpoint, there are a lot of fundamental building blocks that are important. There's mechanics, um, there's a lot of mathematics that involves the motion of cells moving, their interactions uh, with their surroundings. So what we call the microenvironment, cells are gonna move and respond. And there's a lot of molecular aspects, but many of these can be predicted and modeled with computational mathematical formulations. Oftentimes people focus on just experiments or they focus on computational modeling and the real power is when you can integrate both of them. A computational model is only as good as the experiments that it's based on. So there's a great opportunity for this whole area of computational oncology for students that are well versed in mathematics and physics and engineering to come and look at this whole problem of cancer from a very different perspective so we can develop better therapeutic regimens. I've been working with the Institute for Computational Engineering and Sciences on understanding how can we model tumor growth, tumor metastasis as a function of the microenvironment. So we provide some of the experiments, we provide the infrastructure of a three-dimensional environment for which we can tweak and tune and get this to match the computational models. And so we start to build these infrastructures and uh, build the complexity over time just as their models are being built. And we can validate as we move along and our hope is to have a computational model that accurately predicts tumor growth. So I think the opportunities are enormous and this can be applied to many types of tumors, many types of therapies.